Hey guys, we're in the midst of our transition to my new channel. Um, so this collective reading for next week will be a little bit different than what y'all are, are, are used to. Um, but it'll be it'll be like a daily read. I'm going to pull a 10 card draw, tell you about what's happening over the next week. But I've separated um, your guidance by element, no longer by Zodiac. Um, just by element now, just so you can guys can have some sort of guidance um, based off your sun sign where you should be headed. So a couple things I wanted to talk about before I get started. First things first, my book is out. Okay, check it out on Amazon. Link is in the description. <laughs> All right, second thing, um, my paperback is on the way. My paperback on the way. That's all I say. It's on the way. It's supposed to be released, but it's on the way. We'll, we'll see what the fuck happened with that. And my cards are, the demo is on its way to me. It has been shipped out. So once I get that and I see if I approve of that, we'll get those out and distribute it as well. So as I stated on my, on my community tab, as well as I did a video for you guys, I will be starting a new series and I'm not stopping anything that I'm doing. I'm just incorporating a lot of new things into my channel. So little by little, you'll start seeing new videos being incorporated and some you'll see, y'all know how I do, I'll do it. And if it, you know, it, it turns out good and I like it, I'll continue. If it doesn't, I will stop it. Um, that's just how I rock. I'm not going to continue to do something that I do not find productive or in alignment with what I need to be doing. So we're going to try this new thing on my channel uh, where I'm going to be reading religious texts like the Bible, the Quran, um, the right now I got the Bible, the Quran, the Egyptian Book of the Dead and the Tantric Kali up. So you can choose between those and we'll start by chapter or by the scripture or whatever per video. And we'll do that until we complete that cycle and then we'll do another. And that to me, that's a great way for what we're doing is we're reading the text and also interpreting the text. Some of the videos will be just read and put out. Some of them will be live and we'll be taking interpretations from other people and we'll be incorporating that as well. But the reason why I'm doing this, because I literally read these and I, I, I have my own interpretations of what I feel like is going on in the text. And I feel like me reading them to you guys is another way for you guys to become familiar with these texts as well and to draw your own conclusions or your own interpretations of what's happening. Um, I feel like it's important for all of us to understand what these texts represent in our life and how we can use you know what's in these texts to help guide us moving forward you know i, I know a lot of people ain't gonna be into it because some people just watch these channels just to get tarot readings just to you know I, I i know i'm not dumb everybody that watch me don't watch me because they want to evolve but that's my purpose so you know for those of you that are just watching like i got a couple people that done wrote me like legit mad because i said i'm not doing zodiac readings and i don't care because I am not going to stay in a low vibration because you choose to stay in a low vibration. I'm going to fucking evolve. I'm going to grow. Um, my channel is going to grow whether it grows with you or, you know, with, with without you. I'm still going to, I have a purpose here. And my purpose is not to just inform you of your own, you know, drama ups and downs. My purpose is to help you evolve past those ups, downs, and all that drama into a higher vibration so that we can truly do what we're meant to do on this earth. Now. Like I said, with this collective reading, I'm transitioning from doing the weekly zodiacs per sign to doing collective readings every day um, as guidance to help us evolve. We're doing a lot more motivational videos, a lot more informative videos, um, especially in regards to religion, spirituality, um, how to obtain that spiritual freedom within yourself, um, how to overcome, you know, triggers, issues, shit like that. Hopefully we are evolving to where we can um, do that without guidance, but we listen if not i'm still gonna put it out you can watch it or you don't have to it's you know what i'm saying we're moving into a new age so i'm evolving and i hope you guys are too so let's get started we uh four minutes in let me make sure i put around four minutes 30 seconds for video because some people ain't gonna want to hear all this shit and that's all right too okay so let's get started we're gonna get started with these self-love affirmation cards all right, so let's see what messages we have for the collective. This is for the week of December the 14th through the 21st. Okay. Oy. One more for the collective. There we go. We got two more. So the first one we have is self-discovery. I surrender my old self and ascend to new levels of greatness. I'm trying to tell you. Ah! <laughs> That's literally what I just said. I like, you know, like I said, I know a lot of people mad and I don't care. You know, I don't care if three people follow me into this new ascension. We in a new ascension. I'm going to get what I'm, I'm supposed to be getting. I'm going to get the blessings I'm supposed to get. So, 
You know what I'm saying? And that's because I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, when you work, you get rewarded. That's If you go to your job and work, you get a check. So that's how this works on your spiritual path. You do what you're supposed to do, you get rewarded. And I'm not saying that's the purpose of me doing what I'm doing. Hell to the fuck no. I'm doing what I'm doing because it brings me peace. And it makes me feel fulfilled. Like, I feel fulfilled when I do this. So that's why I do it. The next one we have is, so, uh, <laughs> is self-honor. <laughs> I say no with ease and confidence. So I guess I just proved that. The next one we have is self-image. I seek nourishing ways to take care of my body. Okay. We will be talking about that as well. You know, how to incorporate high vibration things into your diet. Because I know that's a big issue for a lot of people. I know we got all these vegan channels and everybody look like they're doing good. But everybody ain't fucking doing good. Because every time I go past Popeye's, it's packed. It's all the way out in the motherfucking street, so you even tell me no different. So we are going to be talking about, you know, it's, I know it's hard to change everything about you. It's hard to change who you, you know, know to, to be, who you know yourself to be. But there are ways to incorporate these types of energies into your life to where it becomes second nature. And then you'll become more and more comfortable with living in a high vibration as opposed to switching all the way from what you know to something else like even i ain't fucking do that you you feel what i'm trying to say i still be doing stuff you know i sometimes know i ain't got no business doing and i just be like i you know i, I know i'm gonna do better i'm gonna do better and then i do better because i know that that's my purpose i'm meant to do better you feel what i'm trying to tell you everybody has setbacks everybody has you know issues shit i remember when you know i was going through a lot of stuff this year i had a setback i had a, a deep setback like i was ready to just stop everything like i went into my shell and you know i that's not good for what i do because i have to you know talk to people i have to interact with people but i literally went inside myself because i was depressed um it was not a, it was not good but i had to bring myself up out of that and understand okay baby girl you know what you need to be doing you already seen the bigger picture so you gotta live it the next one we have is self-confidence. <laughs> Any doubts I have about who I am are replaced with belief in my success. Y'all, okay then. Okay then. Okay then. Okay. All right, so let's see what messages we have. Let me put these up. I ain't gonna get emotional. I don't know why. It's just so much energy today. Well, I guess because it's 12-12. There's a portal today, and that is why. Um, but I feel a lot of good energy, so... This is, this is very positive. We're going to see what messages you have. This is for December the 14th through the 24th. We're using the Love is Love deck. Okay. I love this deck. It's my pride deck. All right. So let's see what messages, what guidance we have. What? You laughing at me? My kid, be, they, be, they, be, they be ragging on me, man. Oh. Let's see what messages, what guidance we have for the collective. Messages, guidance for the collective moving forward. This is for December the 14th or the 24th. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? Messages, guidance for the collective. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? All right. So we have some poppers. Okay, they're in reverse. So I guess we're going to take them in reverse. Um, there's the end of a relationship here. Justice, Knight of Pentacles. This is legally. Somebody getting a divorce. Justice, Knight of Pentacles. That is balancing out the day-to-day -day types of uh, energies. Death in reverse, world card in reverse, and the messenger in reverse. So these reversal of energies, I, I feel like for some of you guys, there's a justice that's happening. The reversal is if there has been some sort of lack that has been, that has occurred because of something that was unjust, there's a reversal of that. I feel like for some of you guys, justice is prevailing. You're really moving forward, Knight of Pentacles here, toward fertile land. That does not mean that, okay, put it like this. When I say whatever you lost is coming back, that doesn't mean if you spent $100 yesterday, you're going to get back $200 today. It could. I mean, it, it, it could. It very well could because that's how energy works. But 
it's not saying it like that. It's saying that, that if you invested, say, $100 in your business yesterday, you receive a million dollars later. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? So you're on the path to some stable type of investment, something that puts you in the space of King of Pentacles. But as of now, there is a reversal of some faith here because of a loss. There's a reversal of faith because of a loss here. But it's, it's supposed to happen. There's supposed to be the end of something. But somebody doesn't want to let go. So there's the end. Okay, I, I, I've been getting this energy the last couple of days. Got two ends of the spectrum. Somebody ready to move forward toward what they feel is better for them and somebody not ready to let go because they've been in the space of being comfortable where they are. It's okay. Both both sides of the spectrum is okay. If you're not comfortable moving forward, that's normal because every transition in your life is literally a death. It's something that's ending and there's something new beginning. You're going into like this, you know, you're going into the dark basically. So it's okay to be afraid, but don't allow your fear to keep you restricted. I literally said yesterday and I've been saying because this two, these energies of these two eclipses has my ego going fucking nuts. Get out my, my, my refrigerator and go sit down. No, sir. Go sit down. Uh, 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 go, well, I'll fix you something. We got an issue with him in my refrigerator. No, sit down. Elijah, fix your brother some. Come here. Come drink some, some water out of my bubble. So anyway, it's you're moving into this new... It's okay to be afraid. Don't allow your fear to keep you restricted. Like I said, for the last couple of days, I literally been saying, I refuse to live in fear. I ain't never... Listen, I ain't never been the type of person to back down from nothing. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like when it comes to things on the external. But I've always been a person internally to be second guessing myself and telling myself, no, you don't need to do that. What if this happened? What if that happened? Da, 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 da. As I've evolved, I've gotten to the space to where that voice don't even... It don't even affect me. I literally be like, oh, okay continue doing what I'm doing because usually I'm on the computer but continue doing what I'm doing continue building what I'm building you know painting what I'm painting continue moving down my path because although I know that yeah those things could happen that's my ego trying to prevent me from what my ego feels is making a decision or making an unprepared -pre step it's only fear it's only ego based energies I have to keep moving in high vibration because if I live in fear I never get nothing done all right so I don't know where I stopped the video on my rant but I had to stop the video because I was ranting on no I don't know why. So let's see what messages we have. We're going to pull. Let me move these out of my way. Sun. Ooh, four swords. So it's clear that someone's moving away from a challenging situation. Look here. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all been dealing with a lot of arguing, a lot of going back and forth. Three of swords here. Shit me. Somebody's moving. King of Pentacles here. Somebody's in a space of being confident about severing the connection. Three of Cups here. Three Swords, Three of Cups. Somebody's severing something that made them unhappy. Four of Cups, I'm trying to tell you. They may have fit they may feel as though they, they want a different option. Um Page of Cups, they yeah. They're finding their own strength and and inspiration to move away from whatever makes them unhappy. Lovers here. There's a choice that's being made. I feel like I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like somebody is in a space, high priestess here, of choosing what's going to make them happy. And the only reason why I say someone is choosing what's going to make them happy is because here, there's a lot of unhappy type of shit. And somebody is in a space of wanting to retreat away from that, wanting to move away from what is creating unhappiness within their life, move away from this lack, move away from this drama. I feel like there's a lot of arguing that's going like five of pentacles, three of swords, and the this the the illustrations y'all know I, I read based off what i feel and what i see okay you get my book you go you gonna see that this right here this somebody feeling heartbroken this has to do with either money this has to do with the foundation maybe somebody's been dealing with a lot of lack been dealing with a lot of um feeling left out in the cold somebody they're ready to leave and I, I feel like somebody is leaving and it's clear like it's clear that somebody's leaving Um, somebody is very confident. I feel like somebody is very confident about their own happiness. So maybe someone's leaving because they feel like they can be happy. Like that I can do bad all by myself. I can do bad by myself. I don't need your help. Starving to death. Y'all know nothing about that. 
That's that old blues. I can do that by myself. I'm going to put that. Because I can do that by my motherfucking self. You feel me? Bitch, I don't need you to have me down. So I feel like that's the, the, the feeling somebody has. Like, I can do bad by myself. I don't have to go through this shit. Because all these low vibrations here, four of swords, five of pentacles, three of swords, four of cups, shit me. Somebody ready to move away from that. Somebody feels within their heart they have the strength to make this decision. So somebody is making this decision. Somebody's like, I, I'd rather be by myself than to deal with this bullshit. I'd rather be by myself than to be struggling. Y'all, I hate to be speaking up on, on motherfuckers from the past. But I literally had a motherfucker tell me one time, if I love them, I will struggle with them. Bitches, you crazy. Bitches, you crazy. If you love me, you wouldn't ask me to struggle. What type of fucking shit is that? You feel me? I'm not going to struggle with you. You feel me? Either we build, grow, and excel together, or we go about our business. Because obviously, it's something about our connection that ain't prospering. And you need to really look at your situation. You need to look at your relationships like that. If you feel like you're stuck in a place and you can't get ahead, you can't prosper, you need to change something about your environment. There's something that's preventing you from growing, even if it's just you. Even if you're thinking, this is all I deserve, that's what all you're going to fucking get. Okay? So, regardless of what this is, whether it's your own awakening that you're having within yourself, realizing that you got to change your circumstances because you're dealing with a lot of lack, a lot of low vibrations, or you're actually in a relationship that you're wanting to move away from because you see that clearly... It's, it's not going to make you happy or it's not going to prosper. Or it's not going to build. Five Pentacles is a low vibration when you're talking about a foundation and when you're talking about a relationship. That's challenge. That is a change necessary in order to bring Ten Pentacles, which is wealth. So for some of you guys, that change, King of Pentacles, Three of Cups, is you choosing happiness. You choosing abundance. You being in alliance with your... Because the threes represent being in alliance. Some of you guys, you're confident about being in alliance with that happiness because four of cups you've been dealing with this five of pentacles three of swords four of cups energy for too long some of you guys have been you've been in the shits too long you want to get out of that I don't, I don't feel like you want to be in that so some of you guys are finding the courage to make a decision i can do bad by myself i don't need your help all right i'm sorry i am be singing out all day and i know i'm saying I don't do, I do good by myself. I don't know about y'all, but I do good by myself and I do better even when it's somebody that I'm supposed to be with. Okay, so if I ain't doing good with you, if I ain't prospering with you, I'm not going to be with you. Period. Period. Fuck how you feel. Fuck how I feel. Because we can't struggle together. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's like two negatives. We can't struggle together. What the fuck? That don't go together. Alright, so four of swords here. And I feel like somebody has just been chilling in that energy. You know, oh yeah, we ain't got no money. It's cool. We'll get it later. It's, it, look, you are supposed to have that, you know, will that it will come. But not when you're sitting on your ass. Nothing comes, like what they say, no, no only dreams come to a, a dreamer or a sleeper or whatever. Like, ain't nothing going to come to you sitting on your ass. So four swords in, and maybe that's what you guys are realizing, that you've been kind of sitting on your ass in whatever situation you've been in. Eight of Pentacles here, not really investing, not really building, not really growing. Nine of Wands, but you're finding your strength to overcome that. Emperor here, yes, really gaining control here. Following what you feel within your heart. Some of you guys want to change your life, and you know now it starts with you. So eight swords here. Yeah, so five Pentacles here. A lot of you guys have been restricted here. By money, fears, um, moon card here, eight of cups. Maybe you've had fear of walking away from a relationship, fear of investing in your own success, your own freedom. Yep. Ace of Wands here with temperance here. You feel like it's time to take action on a new life, a new opportunity to create some new energy for yourself. And I think so too. I think it's time to. Because this energy that you're moving away from, you need to move away. It's very low vibration. Very low vibration. Alright, so three of swords here. Why is this three of swords here? We got the... See, this is very informative for a weekly read. I don't care what you're talking about. Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups here. I feel like with this three of swords, someone is having a connection. They're following their heart toward what makes them happy. King of Wands here, really focusing on their own emotional fulfillment. So somebody is blocking out what they feel to be was an unwise decision. I don't care how long. You could have been with this person a hundred fucking years. You could wake up one day and realize, you know what? It was a mistake getting with you. And I stayed with you because I was comfortable. But I, this ain't where I want to be. Guess what? Somebody's making that decision. Somebody's waking up after a long slumber and realizing this was a blockage to me being able to put my will into alignment toward what makes me happy. Now I'm focused on what makes me happy. So somebody literally is on some, 
you're not gonna drag me down no more four of cups here i do feel like there's a blend of energy here queen of wands here king of cups death cherry yeah there's a transformation so here king and i feel like i'm gonna be real too this could be a masculine energy that's trans that's transforming here uh taking on this scorpion scorpio energy of really choosing to change what they feel this is an emotional transformation chariot here queen of wands here maybe finding their motivation to move in a new direction to really allow themselves to move in a direct new direction because this is this is a masculine energy taking on a feminine um energy of allowing so it's not so much as there someone's taking action and just like i'm done da, 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 da. that's already been said i feel like someone is just in a space of changing what they've been doing or how they've been handling the situation on a day-to-day -day basis and allowing themselves to uh, to let it in like it may have already ended and someone was kind of going back and forth holding on someone's just allowing it to end um very disciplined in their approach as well because it's what they desire now this can also be someone that's in a space of a feminine energy that's in a space of needing to find their motivation to master their emotions and really allow themselves to get out of this stuck energy but regardless the unhappiness is there so with this nine of cups and this full energy here someone here is now with that four of cups someone like i said i see two ends of this someone could be in a space of not allowing themselves to let go okay Full energy in reverse, not moving forward, not moving in faith, nine of cups in reverse, being very selfish within their heart or within their energy. Regardless, you need to turn that energy around, okay? Allow your concerns to fade away and move away from situations that create conflict within your life or within your heart. If it creates conflict, you need to remove it. You're in power of your own energy. You basically choose what's going to, you know, create peace for you and what's not. So I'm going to pull a couple angel answers and then I'll move to the separate decks. For those of you that are not worried about these zodiacs, you guys can, you know, end it now if you want. If you want to know what guidance I pull for each of the elements, not the zodiacs, I'll be pulling that very shortly here. So let's see what angel answers we have in closing. What angel answers do we have in closing for the collective for December the 14th through the 24th? Big happy changes are being made. Perfect time. And I'm trying to tell you, so right now... Is the perfect time for you to make big happy changes but you got to believe in yourself okay you got to know for sure that this is what you want to do because what i'm seeing here is you're moving away from something toxic there's a fear that you have no doubt and that fear could create issues later on if you go back so for a lot of you guys if you're choosing to move forward you need to choose to move forward understand you can do bad all by yourself don't bring back energy into your life that is draining okay move forward all right, so let's see what messages we have. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see what messages we have for my air signs. So the blessings you guys have moving forward is Agni, the god of fire. It says, you can have blessings of improved digestion, true knowledge and worldly riches, acquisition of inner peace through yoga, and freedom from debasing desires and habits. Your tarot message is magician. So some of you guys could be in the space of taking some sort of action, um, manifesting something new. My lips feel child. Well, it was ashy. Um, manifesting something new in your life. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this magician is you needing to be confident that you can manifest whatever the fuck you want to manifest in your life. So if you want it, you got it. You need to believe in the impossible here. All right, so the next message we have in love, you guys have unrequited, unrequited love. So some of you guys could be dealing with this situation that you're needing to walk away from because there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep it going. You could have been comfortable within the situation. It's time for you to remove that blockage so that you can truly find joy. Okay, God may suggest that right now you need to be in the space of acting or be in a space of understanding that you are protected so you could feel uneasy especially for those of you that are in toxic situations violent situations you could feel uneasy about ending this and that may be why you're second guessing yourself you don't need to you are protected move how you need to move to get the fuck out that situation okay even if listen do what you gotta do do what you gotta do to get out that situation if you gotta bust them up across their head to move on about your business do what you gotta do I'm sorry, I don't like to promote violence, but you ain't gonna come at me any kind of way and expect me. Because I'm not gonna promote violence, but I'm gonna just be real with you. If you come at me wrong, let's just move on to earth signs. So, the blessings we have are from Kalika, the destroyer of the Iron Age. The blessings you have are strength 
in adversity, overcoming arguments, determin determination in combating evil, and escaping the negative influence of the age of calling. So this is good. Because that means that there's going to be some transformations. There's going to be some endings. Um, there could also be some destruction with the uh, age of Kali. There could be some destruction around you. For you to be able to escape that during this transformation means that you are moving toward higher vibrations, moving toward better things. And that does mean that you are already protected. Okay. For my air signs, you may need to ask for some protection as well um, if you're dealing with an erratic or unstable person source so the hangman here and it was in reverse so for some of you guys you could be voluntarily putting yourself in suspension the hangman is about changing your perspective some of you guys you may need to sacrifice um something that you see in order for you to move forward worth waiting for in your love life it says divine timing is at work in your love life with divine timing and, and kali i do feel like there's going to be some shifts some of you guys just need to try to stay grounded during this um so we have openness here. Be open to change. There's definitely some changes that are happening. Be open to those changes and allow yourself to kind of flow. So my fire signs, we got Sri Rama, the king of Dharma. So the blessings you have are felicity in marriage, obedience as a virtue, security and name of status, and adherence to truth, adherence to truth and keeping one's word. Okay. So the tarot message you guys have is the Hierophant. So this could be about your beliefs. Um, could be dealing with the Taurus. This could be, this could be about your beliefs. I'm sorry. Every time I see Hierophant, I think Taurus because I'm the fucking Hierophant. Okay. Anyways, um, this could be dealing with your beliefs, um, your uh, organization, maybe jobs. This could be dealing with um, knowledge, knowledge that you have that could be a key to something. Um, when you talk about the Hierophant, you're really talking about faith. So for some of you guys, there could be some sort of faith that you're needing to have would make the effort here it says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so whatever you're being guided to do great love is at the end of this if you're being guided to mend a relationship great love is at the end of that if you're being guided to leave a relationship great love is at the end of that but you need to follow where you're being guided okay don't follow your ego don't follow fear don't follow um guilt shame worry um follow your heart so with acceptance here, there's something here that you're needing to accept so that you can move forward to our higher vibrations, fire signs. Okay. Water signs. We have Ganesh, the uh, remover of obstacles. So the blessings you have are removing obstacles, peace and prosperity, physical and mental powers, and success in initiating new ventures. Okay. We have... The hermit here. So some of you guys, water signs, you're being guided. Um, the hermit is about a guide, whether it be your own internal guide, meaning your higher self, or literally angels guiding you in a direction. I feel like you're, there's a balance here. We got the sun and the moon here. There's a half sun. So you're not seeing something clearly here. Because you're needing to go through the dark a little bit in order to find something clearly. So some of you guys, there's an obstacle that needs to be removed. I feel like you're being guided to remove that obstacle. So fucking remove it. Yep. Free yourself. It says it's time to take back control of your life. So for some of you guys, you're needing to free yourself from a situation um, and take back control of your life emotionally. Ganesh suggests that right now you need to stay determined and focused. I definitely feel like for a lot, for everyone right now, you know, tis the season things that there's trans transformation transformations happening, especially with Jupiter moving into, um, well, I think it's, uh, is it Jupiter? No, Aquarius moving into Jupiter. That's freedom. Okay, the growth and expansion comes from freedom. So for some of you guys, you have to free yourself from some shit that's that's holding you back in order to really enjoy this growth that is occurring with this new energy coming in. That's all I got. Until next time.